Hi everyone, this is Phil from Gaming, and today I'm going to show you my guide to the Bloodstalker in Ark Genesis. The Bloodstalker is a new tameable creature in Ark Genesis, and it is a true sight to behold. I mean, I'm not saying that Wildcard took inspiration from the Matrix, but, uh... Wildcard took some inspiration from the Matrix. In order to tame the Bloodstalker, you're going to need blood. A lot of it. Blood packs specifically, so get on a blood extraction syringe and start pumping the blood out of you. Get a blood drive going, because you're going to need hundreds of blood packs. That's right, hundreds of them. Which is tricky, considering they have a 30-minute spoil time, so make sure to have a refrigerator on hand before you decide to take on this endeavor. What you're going to do is you're going to get a Bloodstalker to attack you, and as long as you've got a bunch of blood packs in your inventory, it will eat the blood packs and not you. You can find Bloodstalkers in any elevated area in the center part of the bog biome, so it's really not a problem of finding them. Don't worry, they'll find you. The only issue is if anything interrupts the attack and you're in an elevated height, you could fall to your death quite easily, which is why I highly recommend that you bring a parachute. Once the Bloodstalker has consumed hundreds of packs of blood, it'll be tamed, and you won't have anything else to do with it except uh, mount it, because it doesn't require a saddle to mount. It just holds you in its horrible little forearms. Now, once you have mounted the Bloodstalker, you will notice these circular reticles appear on your screen. This is an indicator of where the web attack will target. Now, the web attack, which is left-click by default on PC, is a single web strand that, uh, when it attaches to a surface, will draw you to that surface, and you swing around, a la Spider-Man. That same attack, when aimed at a creature, will draw the creature towards you, and it will be helpless as you feast upon it. It is... it's something. Right-clicking will shoot out two web strands, and they will attach to the two locations on the reticle, and you can slingshot yourself across the map, and it is by far the fastest way of getting around with the Bloodstalker. And when it works, it's really satisfying. When it does it, it is a rip and pain in the nuts. If that weren't all, the Bloodstalker is also capable of climbing sheer vertical surfaces, so uh, if web-slinging isn't getting you where you need to go, you can simply climb there. Taking a play out of the Water Striders playbook, the Bloodstalker skates across surfaces of water, and it does so very, very quickly. The Bloodstalker also has an alternate attack, which is C by default on PC, and it is a dual four-claw attack, which is very good at dealing with multiple enemies at once, as opposed to the singular attack, which is really good at, well, dealing with one. The Bloodstalker also has an enhanced vision system which allows it to see any prey that it is capable of webbing, which is very useful when you're trying to track down hard to find smaller creatures. And finally, if you are riding on a Bloodstalker and you aim a ranged weapon, the Bloodstalker will elevate you into a advantageous firing position. What's nice about this is the Bloodstalker is still capable of moving around, and all you have to do to return it to the normal position is unequip the weapon. Do you know any other tips about the Bloodstalker? Tell us what they are in the comments below. If you found this video useful, please feel free to leave a like, comment, or subscribe to the channel. And as always, have fun out there. <laughs>